Hello everyone. So right before we start, this is actually an excerpt from my latest mixed deconstruction, uh, The Prophecy by Jolene Kazal. So if you want to check this full mixed deconstruction out, uh, over two hours and a half of video content, it's a big one, uh, feel free to check it out. There is even a bonus video about spectral balance. All right, let's get to it. So when it comes to harps, um, there is a few things to watch out for. I would say the biggest danger with harps is going to be the low range because it can build up a lot, especially in glissandi, because you have all these low, these low notes close together, which will phase with each other inevitably. And it can often make the harp a bit heavy and have that kind of low uh, boominess or like, you know, this kind of low noisiness uh, in like the 200 range or so. So be careful with that. Also with harps, if it plays uh, some low arpeggios, so just like boom, 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 or anything, uh, sometimes some notes will resonate more than others. So in that case, dynamic EQ is going to be your friend and to just really control the notes that jump out more than the others. Uh, so now in that case, this is mostly just glissandi. And this harp is actually not that muddy to begin with. Uh, I have some harp VSTs or I mixed some harp VSTs that are a lot worse than this. Or real harps actually can be even worse because there is no pre-processing at all. So um, yeah, this harp track is just a bit like this. Mostly just glissandi. Some quieter arpeggios here. The high ones are okay, it's not too muddy, but the low ones. And this one is okay. But these big low ones can be a bit muddy. But again, this one is really not that bad at all. Uh, so let's see the EQ. So as you can see, I did boost a little bit more highs. Now, I didn't boost the very high highs because harps can already be quite sharp there in the 10 to 20k. So if you add too much, it really puts them too much in the front and you start losing depth and distance. So depending on how, how far away you want the harp to feel, uh, it might be too much of that very high treble. So don't overdo it. But uh, there is a nice kind of color, usually around 5k for the harps. Um, so I like to boost this. You know, this is not the frequency range that will really put the harps uh, too much in front. This range will. This will tell your ears that it's right there. Um, but, yeah. I like to add a little bit more, um, you know, color there without making things too close. And now the low mids. So the low mids can build up. Uh, as you can see here, I did do a bit of dynamic EQ to, to prevent that low rumble from building up too much. Plus you just have all these low notes close together, as I said before. Um, so yeah, watch out for that. Uh, but as you can see, not too, too much. Uh, and also cut a bit of low mids here. But in some, uh, I know for example, the BBC harp, uh, the Spitfire Orchestra BBC harp, I cut like that. So again, it really depends completely on the recording. Uh, you might need to cut more or less of this. Um, so yeah, that's for the harps. You need to control these low mids. Uh, be careful that no individual note really jumps out too much and it's not too resonant. Um, so yeah, and of course, after that I have uh, some panning here. I put it on the left for this track. But it's not a huge difference, but I put it a bit more on the left. Um, and nothing here. So yeah, uh, for this hop, just a little bit of low mid control. A little bit of dynamic EQ to prevent this low build up a bit more uh, crispiness here, but not the very top crispiness. Uh, but yeah, it's going to depend on the recording. Also, some harps, they have very kind of harsh transients. Uh, if the harp is being played very high and very loud, you might get a bit too much of that high attack, high transient, in which case you can use a multiband limiter or multiband compressor with a very short attack just to, to kind of limit that high transient attack. Uh, in that case, it wasn't an issue, but that could be something you might have to deal with. So yeah, um, that's for the harp. 